Here's our very first video on our Wallace adventure. Our printed past and all um, the Audible burn book right here. So we are set for our adventure to Wallace on the very day of the fires 111 years later. In 1,000 feet, turn right, then turn left onto Front Street. Continue on I-90 business for half a mile. This is Wallace. We're driving in right now. Here we are in Wallace. I just got my hotel room in a over 100 year old hotel in Idaho on the 100th and 11th anniversary of our nation's largest fire. And here again, is where that fire happened. Check out those rolling hills. I see right there is the North Idaho Trading Company. Right there. And that window, that storefront window, <laughs> looks the exact same on PBS. It's gonna be a great stay. I'm only here for a night, but it's an unbelievably historical night and I'm so excited to be here. Uh, yeah, great space. I'm going to walk around now. Actually today, they are uh, just over the hill on fire. So very real time historic drama playing out. So uh, a repetitive cycle. So here we are in Wallace for the second day. And I'm heading to the Pulaski Trail. Great. Here we go. Here's the official trailhead spot. This is the Pulaski Trail. 2021, August 20th. This was the day of the fire. Here we go. I think it's this way.
taking in the history and really trying to remember the words of the story because these are the trails that those men lived and worked and died on. feel every step of this trail as one that people tread when they were trying to survive and in many cases passing passing each other on the trail would have just been in flames, engulfed in flames. 50 men and five died and two horses. 
And now I understand how they could have drowned. There would have been water inside the tunnel. Some, some drowned, not all. The official plaque in memory of an identified man, August Berger, Joe Ferrer, Harry Hansen, William Learmouth, Richard Woods. They died as truly in the service of their country as did those on Flanders' poppy covered fields. I'm going to read that again. They died as truly in the service of their country as did those on Flanders' poppy covered fields. Oh, Ed Pulaski, 1923. Yeah, that's in reference to getting the same ode, honor, and thanks and credit as soldiers because this was a new department or a service department. This was later known as the Pulaski. The devastation of what it looked like afterwards. great, great book. It's really changed um, so much in my mind because now I know about the birth of the forest surface and how fire industry really sprang up um, based on Gifford Pinchot and setting aside lands for conservation and then protecting it um, as well as incorporating different means of using fire to fight fire. For instance, it took a backfire to save the town of Avery. Just horrendous. People were stuck between going west to Spokane down the river or east uphill Ah, uh, here, perfect. Wallace, up in the mountains here. And Wallace is like this perfect little cavern where the exit down this way was blocked and the exit down this way as well. And they were trapped against the oncoming fire. Here are the firefighters' graves. Okay, so let's see. Number two, 18, died here. This is the hauling shed crew. Number three, Bell's crew, where seven died. Four, Pulaski's crew, where six died here. That's where we are. Five here is Danielson's crew, one died. Six Taylor's crew, eight died. Storms Creek, seven. Where 27 died. He had a dog that stood their ground, too. Eight is Rock's crew, where one died. And nine. This is Holmes' crew. I don't see nine. Oh, way over here. So, wow, all of these places were being under attack by fire at the same time.
And here we are back at the overlook. For all the men who died in the fire in 1910, and particularly the men of Pulaski in this area and all around this region, your lives were lost on this day in history. And today we remember you. Thank you for doing your service, for being a part of the newly formed Forest Service, and for upholding our values of conservation. To the Pulaski team and thank you Tim Egan for writing a wonderful book that inspired me in my trip here. Thank you. All right. And I'm gonna tighten my shoes because we're running back.